If you've ever dealt with someone who has a narcissistic personality disorder, you know how incredibly difficult and confusing it can be. Now, there's a lot we could say about narcissists and the narcissistic personality disorder. Um, there's a lot of nuance here, but one thing is pretty clear in that a narcissist has a almost a compulsive need to gain control over other people and situations. And this is not something that they are conscious to, but there is a compulsive need to control other people and situations. Now, one of the ways they do this, and this is why it can be so confusing, is a narcissist number one rule that they use in their playbook is they, they use your emotions against you. They tap into legitimate emotions, emotions like fear, emotions like concern and compassion, and they know how to manipulate those emotions in such a way to get control over you. Now, for whatever reason, if that doesn't work and they're not able to get control over you, then they turn to a, a second prong of attack, and that is they begin to turn other people against you or, or the person that they cannot control. They begin to go on a campaign turning everybody against the entity or person or situation they cannot control, and that's how they do that. Now. When you're dealing with a, uh, someone with a narcissistic personality disorder, those folks are really not interested in what's true. They're really not interested in your freedom or your sense of empowerment. They are only concerned about control and controlling you using your own emotions. And if they can't do that, they will turn other people against you to try to get a sense of disapproval or being on the wrong side of an event to get you to capitulate to their demands. Now, typically in order to deal with that, you need to put up very clear boundaries because there's, there's, no, there's no sense in trying to get a narcissist to see your point of view because they're not capable. So typically in those extreme cases, you need very clear boundaries. And for this very reason, my suggestion to all of us in these days we're living in is to put up really clear boundaries with our media, our national media, and also our political leaders. I hate to say that, but there is a need that we have, and hopefully you're seeing the patterns here. There is a very strong need that we all have to draw very clear boundaries with the narcissistic energy that we are dealing with in our national and global apparatus when it comes to media and political leaders. So while I understand that it can be very tempting to want to turn on the media, listen to the political figures, listen to the talking heads on television tell us about current events. As a culture, as a society, we've been experiencing an unprecedented amount of fear and anxiety over the last couple of years. And I want to encourage you to join me in shifting your focus away from these messages of fear and drama and warfare and shift your focus back to what counts, which is your life, your sense of sovereignty and freedom that comes from an internal focus. This is the only way we can truly and effectively respond in such a way that it creates an atmosphere of peace, health, life, and well-being. So let's turn the talking heads off and let's turn on our own awareness.